greatest badminton wizard, four times all England and unofficial world champion. One of the finest exponents the game has produced, these are some of the shots that have made his name a household word in the world of badminton. Singles is a game of skill and stamina. The doubles requires a different technique. Here, the important factor is teamwork. Doubles is a fast attacking game. It demands quick thinking, good understanding. As Malaya's national game, badminton is played everywhere by young and old, outdoors as well as indoors, all the year round. To play it well, it's necessary to start young, to start right. It's important to learn the correct techniques and practice constantly. To begin with, let's take the racket. The racket is a light, delicate instrument that must be selected with knowledge. A good racket must have balance. Its weight, not more than five ounces when fully strung. Now, when selecting a racket for your own use, choose the handle that fits your hand and fingers. Your grip must be comfortable and feel just right. The forehand grip. This is quite simple. Thumb and forefinger form a V round the handle in a handshake grasp. Grip is relaxed. Fingers comfortably spread for good control. It's important to keep your wrist free and supple, for wrist work is the secret of all badminton strokes. To play shots forehand, your left foot is ahead of the right. When hitting the shuttle, body weight is smoothly transferred from the back foot to the front at the moment of impact. The forehand is the basic stroke in badminton. It's easy to play, but every good forehand swing contains all the fundamentals of good badminton skill. Watch it carefully now in slow motion. Note the smooth swing of body, arm, and wrist. Now here it is again. Eyes on the shuttle, transfer of weight, action of arm and wrist, the follow through. All badminton strokes can be divided into two categories, forehand and backhand. Forehand strokes for the right-handed player include all shots taken on the right-hand side of the body. Backhand strokes cover all shots taken on the left-hand side, or across the body. It's easy to remember. All forehand strokes are on your right. All backhand strokes are on your left. To play backhand, the grip is changed by turning the racket slightly, so that the thumb rests flat on the broad side of the handle. The thumb acts as a lever to back up swing guide the racket forward. Again, the wrist is free and easy. Grip is firm but relaxed. For backhand, the right shoulder is towards the net, right foot in front. Weight shifts from left foot to right foot. The stroke is performed by a straightening out of the bent elbow, helped by a push of the left foot. A strong wrist flick is used on impact. Now, in slow motion. Timing, footwork. Perfect balance and the use of arm and wrist. It's important to acquire a good backhand. Learn it well, for it's vital to your game. The forehand and the backhand are the fundamental strokes in badminton. They must be practiced constantly until they can be played smoothly and naturally. Now let's take a look at the badminton court. This is a rectangle with two sets of lines superimposed on each other. One for singles, the other for doubles. The doubles court measures 20 feet by 44 feet. 
For singles, the width of the court is narrowed by these tram lines, making the playing area 17 feet by 44. The court is divided into two by a net suspended across the middle between two posts at the sidelines. The net is five feet one inch high at the post end and exactly five feet in the middle. Six and a half feet either side of the net are two more lines across the court. These are the short service lines. From the back boundary line to each short service line stretches the center line, further dividing the courts into two. For doubles, a long service line is added, shortening the service courts to 13 feet in depth. Singles court, 17 feet feet 44. Doubles court, 20 feet by 44. Each playing area is divided into two service courts behind the short service lines. The single service court is narrower but longer. And this is what it looks like. In doubles, the service court is wider but shorter. To commence play, the shuttle is sent from one of the right forecourts to the receiving court diagonally opposite. The service is always diagonally across. Service. This is the most important stroke, for unless you can serve well, you just can't win. Basically, the service is simple. For the low service, you stand near the center line, about three feet from the short service line. Shuttle in your left hand. The stance is relaxed and comfortable. Feet slightly apart with the left foot in advance. The low service is more a placement stroke and the shuttle is guided over the net rather than hit. You hold the shuttle with forefinger and thumb, releasing it straight down away from the body in line with your right foot. The swing is an easy, flowing action, deliberate and unhurried. For a good low serve, the shuttle must just skim the net and drop immediately within the front part of the service court opposite. When serving, watch your opponent carefully. Spring a serve he least expects to draw him out of position and off balance. Now here's the same service, this time in slow motion. The high service. This is taken further back, using the same relaxed, natural stance. Left foot slightly more forward to allow for greater arm swing. In this service, the shuttle travels high and deep, falling within inches of the baseline. The shuttle is dropped in the same way, straight down, but the stroke has more backswing and power and a full follow-through. The high service forces your opponent back to the baseline. It brings him well away from his center position and puts him on the defensive. Here's how the shuttle flies. It goes high up, comes straight down. This makes it harder to return. Length and trajectory are important. Good service is a real art. Without it, you can't play winning badminton. Practice these services until you've gained accuracy, consistency and control.